Hello, everybody! Um, today we're going to have a very special guest uh, come and make some decisions and play a game called This or That. Um, I want to read a scripture to you, and, I, and I'll read it again later, but I want you to consider something. Um, nowhere in the Bible uh, does God tell you to test him. We know that that's not a good thing to do. You shouldn't say, God, if, if you can make a bird fly right over that building right there, um, I will be in church every Sunday. That's very disrespectful to God. It doesn't work, and it's very discouraging in the Bible. But there is one instance in the Bible, in Malachi, where God says you can test him. This is Malachi 3, verse 10, and it says, Bring the entire tenth, or tithe, uh, to the storerooms in my temple. Then there will be plenty of food. Test me in this way, says the Lord. Then you will see that I will throw open the windows of heaven. I will pour out so many blessings that you will not have enough room to store them. God says that we need to manage uh, our finances right so that we can save and so that we can ultimately give. Because the problem with uh, money and time and resources is that those things want to take our attention and kind of rule our lives. And they, they do in a lot of ways, unfortunately. But God is asking us to let go of that and let God rule our lives. Because no amount of money you can ever uh, have uh, can bring you the types of blessings that your Father in Heaven can bring you. Uh, God is a good Father, and God loves you. And so He asks that we give our tithes and our offerings. Um, so that we can actually do more than just give money. We're giving our lives to Him. So I hope this week that uh, you think of a way to give to God, give of your time, give of your offerings, uh, so that other people can be blessed um, and be a blessing to others, and, and so that you can fully give yourself over to God. So we're going to play this game, and uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. Stay tuned. Hi, welcome to the show. First up, they told me bad things would happen. <laughs> they might, Connor. Connor, uh, you have a decision to make today. You have several decisions. Okay. Just like you do every day, right? You have you make decisions every single day? Yeah. All right, I'm going to read something to you real quick. Is that right? Yeah. This is Malachi 3.10. And here's what it says. Bring the entire tenth to the storerooms in my temple. Then there will be plenty of food. Test me in this way, says the Lord. Then you will see that I will throw open the windows of heaven. I will pour out so many blessings that you will not have enough room to store them. It's the only time in the Bible God tells us to test him. Because um, we know you shouldn't test God. That's not normally a good thing to do, right? No. Okay, so I'm going to give you some options. Of some uh -huh. things you can do. Um, in real life, uh, we're playing a game, by the way, called This or That. Um, so you have, your options are this or that. Okay. Um, in real life, making good decisions, responsible decisions, would you say it's easy or hard? I mean, it depends on what it is. Sure. So I want you to read those and tell me which one's harder and which one you so think. So I get to read these? You get to I, read okay, those okay. and tell me which one you think you should do. Well, you gotta read it out loud. Playing a game with my homies or... Okay. Volunteering at the local food pantry. Okay. And this is probably the better decision because you always game with the homies. Is that the decision? Okay, so here's the deal, though. Because it's harder, I, I know that you know how to make the right and better decision. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The right and better decision, since it's harder, will come with a caveat. In order to do the right thing, you're going to have to do something a little bit difficult or inconvenient for you, perhaps mildly um, unpleasant or embarrassing. So I don't like where this is going. You get to make a choice. You don't have to do this. You can pick uh -huh. this or you can pick that. The this card and this option was what you think is the right decision. Mm -hmm. If you want to do that, and you can, and we're going to store all of your decisions, you have to right now do the song and the motions for I'm a Little Teapot. It's your decision. I read you the scripture. You don't have much time to choose. I mean, I don't even know what they are. That's the funny thing. You don't, you don't know. I, I barely. I'll help you with uh, it. <laughs> you don't have to stand. You can do just the okay. spout right there. There you go. Uh, Say it. Here we go. Ready? 
<laughs> <laughs> you don't know. You can pick that. You can just play games in your home uh, okay. instead of going. Because no, that would be easier, right? That would yeah, be it really would be. Go for it. I'm a little teapot, short and stout. Here is my handle and here is my spout. When I get all steamed I don't know up, the rest of it. Hear me shout. Ah. Tip, then you tip me over and pour me out. I went all right. First part. Let's throw the that card out of there. All right. There it goes. Next option. Read both of those. All right. Um, giving a tithe to the church. Okay. Or getting takeout instead of eating at home. Depends on the takeout, though. <laughs> I in mean, in this option, I'm going to say that eating at home is much, much cheaper than getting takeout. Sure out. is. Okay. Which one are you going to do? Which one do you think is the right decision? This one, right? The, Your tithes are important. Yeah, the tithe. They're important, right? Yeah, that's important. Which one are you going to do? Probably the, the tithe, yeah. Okay, you can choose that. I'm going to shoot you a little bit with this water gun. Okay, first. That. Okay. You can close your eyes or whatever you want to do. Are you ready, Connor? Do it! I haven't shot anybody with this yet, so let's see what the pressure is like. Ah! Ah! Okay, all right. That was a little inconvenient, wasn't it? Yeah. That was the harder decision. Uh-huh. Okay, all right. You've got one more decision to make. When this camera goes off, I'm going ape on you. Which one's the good one? Uh, the uh, this is? Uh, yeah, this is the good one. And that is out of here. Feel okay. It'd help if I could see... Um, all right, so first one, the the it's buy the hottest new video game. Okay. And, or save it to buy your parents a nice dinner date. Hmm. They need that dinner date, man. <laughs> so which one's the right decision? Um, it would be the uh, no wait no it'd be this one. <laughs> I get confused. Yeah, that one. Okay, so to buy the dinner date would be the yeah more difficult, but obviously the the better decision of the two. You're giving of what you feel. You're going to my card, but yeah. You can do that, but you will listen to roughly 15 seconds of Mac making a uh, siren sound that I recorded today. <laughs> Get off with me. <laughs> all right, all right. Let me make sure the volume's up. I um, swear if you hold that to my ear, I'm going to smack. No, me. I'm just going to put it here, and, and then that way we all can suffer through this together. Um, I'm just going to stare at it. Here, here we go. Ready? Did you just put that in a loop? Is it over? No. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Connor, I'll tell you what. So what, what did the scripture say happens when we, when we tithe, when we're responsible for our money, and when we give? Um, well, the blessings come pouring out, right? Yeah. So because you did what you were supposed to, even though it was hard, you have been blessed Whoa. with a $10 Chick-fil-A gift card, my Whoa. friend. Whoa! What do you think about that? I, I, I really appreciate it. I feel really blessed. It's worth it to, to give your life to God and not to money, isn't it? Yeah. In the long run, God's going to do much better than any money can do, right? Yep. Like, give you a Chick-fil-A gift card for $10. Oh, yeah. Thank you for being an illustration today, Connor. You're welcome. Bye, everybody. Bye.